Have y'all seen Giant Herc yet? Oh, uh, what's that? Oh, Bro, what am I even God. looking at right now? Bro. Dude, his head is like up in the clouds, literally. <laughs> literally, dude. Hey. Hey, you. You want to create some pets that look like this? Yeah, there he is. Look at him go. Oh, look at him go. Don't you worry. I'll try to make this as comprehensive as possible. But first, we're going to need a actual copy of No Man's Sky. I'm using the Steam version at the current moment. We're also going to need Microsoft Excel, preferably the most updated version. We're also going to need two other tools. We're going to need the No Man's Sky Save Editor and the No Man's Sky Creature Builder. And both of those things will be in the description below, and I'll show you how to use both of those. All right, so first things first is we're going to need the No Man's Sky Save Editor and that's going to, I want to have a, uh, a GitHub link in the description for you. But pretty much what we want to do is go to code and then just download the zip file for this, right? So once we go in there, um, I already have a mods folder for basically all my games. So I just created a folder called No Man's Sky. Um, and inside the file that we just downloaded, uh, you'll see that we can go ahead and uh, drag and drop everything um, except the screenshots folder because we don't we don't really need the screenshots um and basically put everything into your into another folder for you so to keep organized um and then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and go into this other zip folder within the zip folder and drag all those um into your mod folder as well so i already have all those um and then what you want to do is you're to open this you would go ahead and double click this um this bat file right here and that's going to open up this and it will allow you to go ahead and uh, select a save that you want. But we'll go ahead and fiddle with that later. Now, if you haven't set this up already, we can uh, for the save editor is you can go ahead and hit file and open path. And typically you're just going to want to uh, Google uh, the default Steam uh, thing. But usually it's going to be in users uh, and then inside that user app data um and then roaming hello games no man's sky and then you're you're going to find uh your save game um typically you just want to go ahead and uh see which drive it is on for me it's on my c drive uh because games run faster on solid state you know you know you know that you know what it is but as soon as you find your actual where your saves are um you can go ahead and uh select a save and that will give you um, everything you need uh, as far as save editing. So as, as you you see that we save it, uh, we select to save here, uh, and we get some feedback in the command prompt. And now we have access to uh, a wide range of things. All right, the next thing we need is this No Man's Sky uh, Creature Builder uh, by Lamp. We're going to need the most latest version. So this is uh, version. So this is 0.5, this has all the documentation. So we'll go ahead and download the most latest version. And yeah, you, um, I have a folder right here inside my inside the No Man's Sky folder just called a creature editor. So when I open this up, uh, as you can see, I've already downloaded and unpacked everything. So in this zip folder that we downloaded, uh, we can go into the master folder. Um, and as you can see, what I've done is just taken all of these and drop them right in. Now, what I've done is I've just renamed the file I already had and drag and dropped another new file in here uh, because once you do this next part, I guess I can't see it again. Um, but once you do that, uh, you want to go ahead and you're going to want to um, right click the Microsoft Excel file and you're going to go down to properties. And in order to actually use the um, the macros are inside uh, the Excel file, you're going to go down to security down here in the general tab. And you just want to hit unblock and then apply. Then you can click OK. So I'll go ahead and show you what this looks like. We'll go ahead and double click it. And as you can see, there might be a security warning. Um, pretty much anything that really has to do with macros or Lua's or anything like that um, is going to give you this. But pretty much what this does is it automates a lot of the process. So I want to go ahead and hit enable content. Now I'll show you what these macros do. So pretty much what we have right there is uh, our current creature is antelope, right? Um, so let's say if we wanted to create a flying, um, like a flying snake would be the, the worms. So we're going to go ahead and load that real quick. And now what we currently have is flying snake. Um, and then what we can do is go ahead and hit con, uh, config form. And this will pull up a creature editor of some sort. Um, the cool part is, is that we can try to, 
get the pet to show. No, it's not going to give us a thing, but it will give us certain um, previews uh, for certain things. So this is this would be uh, the one with the eye right here. And as you can see, all the JSON code um, for the creature that we make will be right here. So let's say if I wanted to make this thing absolutely huge, something like 2.5 will probably be like a good uh, thing for this. Uh, if we hit update pet right here, all the JSON code will go ahead and, you know, update. So we can go ahead and name the uh, name the thing right there. We can try to c change the color speed, all that cool stuff. We can even change the attributes of its uh, personality so we can make it uh, super, um, you know, devoted to us or independent. Uh, we can go ahead and make it, you know, non-aggressive, all that cool stuff. Now, it's absolutely important that we don't change anything on this, okay? The only thing that we want to do on this Excel is we just want to select a creature ID. We hit load, and then to pull up the creature editor for that specific creature ID, we hit config form. Do not edit anything on this sheet uh, because it's incredibly important of how it works. And if you ever uh, get a pop up when trying to exit this saying if you want to save it, don't save if just in case because we don't want to make any changes to that um, sheet whatsoever. Alrighty, so now we have our editors um, for the save and we have our creature editors as well. So now what we want to do is for of course there's an update. Alright, so now what I want to try to do is I want to try to tame a random creature real quick. Uh, so that way I have something based off to go with. Uh, so I want to adopt this random thing as my companion real quick. Um, and we have adopted a Tata. What even is this thing? Whoa, look at that. <laughs> look at him go. All right, so now if we go to creatures in my register, um, as you can see, you can have, you can see some of the ones I've messed with. Like I've, I've messed with this dragon. Uh, I've messed with this butterfly. I've made this big worm. You can do that in the editor as well. Uh, but now we have uh, the Tata. -ta. Now what we need to take note of is the order of these pets because that's how we're going to show up in the save editor. Uh, so it's going to be um, starting from zero. Um, so let's say this dragon that would that would this would be slot zero uh, in the save editor. So it would be zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the Tata -ta is going to be in slot eight on the save editor. Okay, um, and sometimes you can just find them like this is named Big Worm in the save editor. Set it save editor. It'll just be Big Worm. I'll actually go ahead and show you what this Big Worm looks like real quick. Yeah, there he is. Look at him go. Oh, look at him go. Oh man. Oh, he's absolutely huge. Oh, he's absolutely huge. I bet you can't even find me on this thing. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and save the game and then quit out real quick. We don't have to actually quit the game itself. All we have to do is go to the main menu. Uh, so that way we can m reload the save. All right, so now what we're gonna go ahead and do, let's get out of that actually. Uh, let's go to the creature editor and we're gonna open up our creature builder. So now that we have this opened up, what I'm probably gonna go ahead and try to do is I wanna make him into a huge robot dog. Yeah, because I already have one, but I want a bigger one. So I want to go ahead and go with the robot antelope because I'm pretty sure that's what that is and hit load on that and then config form. So there we go. Uh, we have the preview is just a gigantic robot puppy. <laughs> uh, so I want to make him slightly, slightly bigger. Um, let me not edit the JSON myself. That's just my coding mentality. Uh, let's go ahead and do... I want to make them like a 4.5. There we go. Uh, see what kind of heads we have. So we have a disc head. We have whatever that is. And then we have that. That's kind of cool. So I want to give this guy... Uh, let's give this guy like a curved head. Because my other one has this right here. So I want to get. I want to give this guy right here. I'm just going to name this guy uh, Robo Puppy. There we go. Um, and that doesn't change anything. Let's see what we... Oh, what the... F <laughs> uh there's a there's a disc there that we have a sometimes it won't update bit um too much on this but i want to i want to go ahead and make the back disc just because it looks it looks funny because uh 
this is only going on like a finite amount of screenshots uh that's in the uh that's inside of these files right here where it has pics um so basically if it can find a template or a screenshot of what you have um selected as far as settings go it will go ahead and try to give you a visual of what that looks like the best it can um i'm gonna go ahead and try to create a color seed real quick uh give it like a cool random color um, and I want to make this guy very trusting in me, uh, very, very, um, dutiful. There we go. And I'll make him non-aggressive and completely loyal to me. Cause yes. Now I found, um, that putting these low are actually good because apparently if you put them like, you know, if you put the mood to like 93 and then load into the game, um, you'll need to like give him pets immediately. He'll just be upset. So apparently the, the low, the lower options are the way to go for this. Uh, so I want to go ahead and update uh pet file. And that's going to update the JSON with everything I have edited here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to leave all that editor stuff open. And now that we have a, a pet saved and now what we're going to do is go ahead and open the bat file for our save editor. And we remember which one that pet was because it was number eight on the slot that we're trying to edit. Um, so there we go. So now uh, what we want to go do is go ahead and select a save real quick. And uh, as you can see, now that we have a saved uh, a, a save done, uh, we have all this stuff. So now we have like pet eight and all this stuff. As, as I said earlier, sometimes it'll just show up as big worm if they actually have a name. Um, but we're actually not going to go ahead and use the companions tab. Instead, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go to edit and then edit raw JSON. Okay, so now that we have this window open, we're going to go to player uh, state data. And inside this is going to be a file called pets. So we're going to open up the pets and we remember that our Tata, um, which is apparently a spider, uh, is slot number eight, right? Uh, if we remember it correctly, this slot zero was our weird dragon looking thing. Uh, so now you can see the flying dragon thing. So what we're worried about is slot number eight. And you have all these cool things that you can do right here inside that slot number eight. But what we're going to do is go ahead and go to our creature editor. And we're going to control A and control C um, to copy everything on that JSON right there and go back to the No Man's Sky editor, uh, the save editor, and inside uh, slot number eight, we're gonna go ahead and control A and control V, all of our code from the creature editor into our into here. So as soon as we exit this, we'll get a prompt saying, do you wanna ch save these changes? Yes, we do. So now what we wanna do is go back to the main tab as well, and then hit save changes. And that should save everything. Um, and we don't have to close this just yet, uh, if you go back in game and find out that there's something you may not like about it, um, sometimes having this up um, and doing subtle changes and then doing the process over again where uh, you make your subtle changes, copy the JSON and put it back into the save file, rinse and repeat until you have a pet that you have um, and until you have a pet that you feel like is, it's good for you. Uh, so now that we've gone ahead and added the save file, uh, we can go back into the game and reload that save. All right, so now instead of a spider, what we should have is a gigantic robo puppy. So we're going to go into section two. And as you can see, well, he is absolutely huge. <laughs> um, so his name is, uh, is also still robo puppy. And as you saw, uh, putting the values low right there actually gave him a some high values in game so he's now almost you know completely uh in love with me and is good on food and he takes ion batteries look at that uh so we can go ahead and ride him because why not so now with the now that we ride him oh my god <laughs> oh god oh uh, look at this all right let's see if what happens if we make him sprint oh he's absolutely humongous <laughs> oh look at him go oh wow he's actually pretty fast Oh wow, look at him go. And we'll make him stop. So the cool thing is is that um, these will absolutely go ahead and uh, you can go ahead and incubate eggs from these guys. Uh, you just have to be in the native climate and all that cool. 
and if you want to change their climate all you would have to do is um, this right here so home biome is c is lush so if i were to port put this in uh scorched or barren probably most likely scorched um then this planet would probably be uh one of the home um or native climates for him and then you can produce an egg from this so you can absolutely go ahead and make eggs from these modded um these modded uh companions and give those eggs to your friends if you really wish to, uh to do so uh so now we have a gigantic robo puppy <laughs> so Hopefully that was pretty helpful. Uh, I plan to see a lot more uh, gigantic, funny-looking creatures now that now that there's an actual um, better tutorial of how to do this. Uh, and if you watch this far, you might as well subscribe and hit a like because um, this is usually what I do is I shit post uh, things that I find are cool or I just make random tutorials because I can. Uh, but I do hope this has helped you and you guys have a nice one. Peace. I don't want to go back. Either you can come and save me or just let my heart collapse Either you can come and clean me or let me fall into relapse Either you can come and save me or just stab me in the back I don't want it to go back, I don't want it to go back Yeah.